2020 has been an insane year filled with challenges. For musicians and teachers like myself, it's been frustrating and tricky to transition into remote lessons. That being said, we have some awesome tools at our disposal, and one of the game-changing things that just came out this month is Zoom's high-fidelity music mode. So I want to share with you all the things that I've learned, the tips and the tricks that are going to help make your online lessons and collaborations way more impactful and enjoyable. So let's dive right into what we're going to need. So starting at the beginning of the signal chain, the first thing I want to recommend is that you do not use your built-in microphone and speakers. Why? Because even if you adjust the internal settings, it's never going to be anywhere near the quality that you're going to get from an external audio interface and a decent microphone. So as far as audio interfaces go, there's tons of great options. You don't need to break the bank. And the same thing for the microphones. There's lots of good available options. If you're a musician, you probably have one of these sitting around, the old trusty Shure SM58. Not a terribly expensive microphone, but it does a great job on both your voice and your instrument. Which brings me to another point. If you can, if you have the option in available channels, try to run a separate signal for your instrument than your voice. And the reason for that is that they're going to be at different dynamic ranges, different volumes, you know? So we want to make it the best possible experience. And to do that, we want to have a dedicated mic or input for voice and instrument. Next up on your checklist should be a decent pair of headphones. Now these can be AirPods, they can be uh, open back headphones, semi open back, closed back, uh, expensive, cheap, it doesn't really matter. What we're trying to do here is give you a little bit more clarity. We want to eliminate the feedback that can happen when your speakers are so loud that it comes through the microphone and creates a horrible feedback loop and also will reduce the echo, which can sometimes be a nuisance in Zoom calls. One more thing we got to touch on before we get into settings is your internet speed. Now, this could be the thing that holds you back the most, is while we have all these great hardware tools and great options uh, in the features that we can set internally, you need to know what your internet speed is at. And a good way to do that is go to speedtest.net check that you're getting at least 1.2 megabytes per second. That's what Zoom recommends. Uh, maybe even a little bit more than that for group meetings. So keep that in mind. And a great way to go if you have the ability to get the best possible results is to use an Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi. I know a lot of you are saying, really, is that going to make a big, huge difference? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Please do it if you have access. All right, so once you got your hardware all connected, you want to make sure that your mic gain is adjusted on your interface so you're in the green, you're not getting any clipping. Once you've done that, you'll go to the top of the screen here for your drop down menu and preferences. And you just want to check that your mic gain is coming through consistently. So look at the input level. It should be in the green when you talk into the microphone. If it's in the yellow or red, consider turning it up. Conversely, on this side, if it goes into the red at all, that's going to be clipping. That's not going to sound good. You can make some small adjustments here. And this box right here is very important. Do not check this box. We do not want your mic gain automatically adjusted. That's going to cause inconsistent levels. So you want to take care of that yourself at the source. To get the best possible audio, we need to make a couple adjustments in the Zoom user account settings. So go ahead and log into the Zoom website using an internet browser. Uh, if we don't do it this way, the options won't appear in our apps. So make sure you're signed into your account. And once you're signed in, you're going to go to Settings. Next up, you want to go In Meeting, Advanced. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see Allow Users to Select Stereo Audio in their client settings. It's got to switch to On there. And then the other one that's important is to allow users to select original sound in their client settings. So once you've switched those on, we can get to the next step. Next, we're going to open up the Zoom application. Go to the top of the screen. We're looking for the drop down menu and we want to select check for updates. This is very important because Zoom didn't release the option for high fidelity music until version 5.2.2 and they're already on a new version. So make sure you have at least 5.2.2. Next up, we're going to select Preferences and go to the Audio tab. We've already checked out our microphone settings. So just beneath that, we want to look at Suppress Background Noise. And we want to set that to low for starters. Uh, so what that is going to do, 
Uh, in some cases, this can be a good thing because if you have a noisy computer fan or if you have uh, neighbors that are running leaf blowers at all hours or dogs barking, this can help to suppress some of that. Now, the bad thing about it is that if we're playing with some low dynamics in our music, it might actually chop off those notes and, and make them inaudible. So start at low, see how that works out for you, and if you need to, you can bump it up to medium or even high. Next up, in the advanced settings, we're going to be making sure that echo cancellation is on auto. So this is important if you're using computer speakers or monitors. Um, it's really annoying when this happens in a meeting. Uh, it's a terrible sound that makes you want to hang up. So having this on aggressive can be good for voice chats, but not so good for musicians or playing music. We want to make sure this is checked. So this is the show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. Now remember, this will not show up unless you went through those steps earlier, uh, loading in the web browser and, and doing the stuff in your profile. Um, and just a quick word about that, if you're on a tablet or uh, a phone perhaps using the Zoom application, these might not show up even after you did those changes in the web browser, in which case you're going to have to delete the app and reinstall. So what this does for enable original sound from microphone that is removing all of the processing that Zoom adds to your sound. So in other words, you're getting it exactly as it is at the source without any of Zoom's high pass filtering, compression, or, or gain adjustment. So what they add in without this option is they're trying to ride the levels so that the levels don't get too extreme in the lows and the highs. They want to keep it even. We don't want that as musicians. We want to control our own sound. Very important. So moving on. We're going to go to this disable echo cancellation. Now, warning about this one, you don't want to do this if you're on speakers. And I don't recommend you use speakers, but some people can use them at a low volume. I don't think it's a good idea. Ideally, you're going to use headphones. And if you do, make sure this is checked. Disable echo cancellation. Next up, obviously, we want the best sound possible in this Zoom. So we want to enable high fidelity music mode. And then obviously we want stereo audio because two sides are better than one. So make sure that is checked. Um, only time you're not going to want these bottom options, high fidelity and stereo, is if you're on a really slow internet connection because this can definitely eat up your bandwidth. So strongly suggested that you've got a fast connection and that's going to do it for the menu settings. So here we are in Zoom with the default settings. This is what my voice sounds like coming through my computer audio, and this is what the guitar sounds like with the computer audio. Okay, here we go. I've got my voice coming through my trusty SM7B microphone. My guitar is plugged in. I'm using an Axe FX going into an Apollo. And I have all those settings changed in Zoom that allow me to have the best sound possible. One thing that you should note is you're gonna have to turn on enable original sound every single meeting. So be aware of that. Here's my guitar. <laughs> Whoa, pretty amazing difference, right? I think it's pretty impressive. So one thing that might come up, you might be wondering, can I now jam with another person? Can we play in real time finally? Uh, the answer, unfortunately, is no, at least not with just Zoom. But fear not, I have had great results with Jam Kazam in conjunction with Zoom. So using Zoom just for the video and the audio coming through Jam Kazam. I'm impressed with this company. They're making changes all the time, really striving to make a great platform with minimal latency. Another one you might consider checking out is Jamulus. Uh, they're a, a platform that allows you to use your own server, which can lead to better results. And then finally, Jack Trip is a really great one if you're a little bit more tech savvy. You might want to check that out. If you've been wondering how to make your lessons in general uh, appear more professional, 
um, and be more engaging. I definitely have a lot of ideas and I've been able to um, incorporate some really cool elements into my lessons for a better experience. If that's something that interests you, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do a video about that as well. Certainly appreciate you guys taking the time to come by and check this stuff out. I really hope it's helpful to you. And do me a favor, if you enjoyed it, drop me a comment, a like, or consider subscribing. And if you didn't like it, certainly let me know about that too and hit that dislike button or let me know why it was no good for you. In any case, I appreciate you being here and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week.